A South Florida mother demanding answers tonight after her son was shot by an Uber driver. Only on 6, NBC6 reporter Steve Litt spoke to the teen's mom about what happened. Steve, you join us live now from Hollywood. What else did she tell you? And hey, Rox, well, first off, this 19-year-old recovering here at Memorial Regional uh, in, uh, in Hollywood here. This seems to be, Roxy, a case of an Uber driver's words versus his passengers. Miles, his mother asking we not say his last name on TV, is set to undergo surgery after being shot by an Uber driver. His mother, April, with this explanation, she says, from Hollywood police detectives. After Miles exited, the driver then now exited the car. That's what the police told you? Correct. So where is the, why wasn't the driver arrested? Who is the aggressor here if he exited after Miles got out of the car? The incident happened Wednesday night right outside the Emerald Oaks development, which is just across the street from T.Y. Park. The friction started when Miles asked to be dropped off at a different location nearby. According to police, Miles attacked the Uber driver. His mom says no way. Miles, has, he's never been in a fight in his entire life. He's barely 130 pounds. He's 19 years old. Um, he doesn't confront people at all. If anything, he's like the peacemaker among his friends. Police say the Uber driver drove a short distance away and then called police. Miles was able to make it inside the development where his grandparents live. A witness saw him on the ground and called 911. $22.95 is how much Miles was charged for the ride. Regarding the shooting, they say that what has been reported is concerning. We are continuing to look into this and working to get in touch with the involved parties. We stand ready to support law enforcement with their investigation. Miles' mom with questions, as well as the family lawyer, David Kabillion. Uber has a policy where uh, their drivers cannot be um, carry firearms. So what is he doing carrying a firearm? Police have not released the name of the driver, and he is not in jail. Uh, police do say that the driver was hurt with injuries to his face. In cases like these, typically prosecutors work with detectives and they determine whether criminal charges are warranted or not. We'll keep you posted on what happens with this one. Live in Hollywood tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.